and welcome to the first edition of Great Vision. My name is Peter. And I'm Charlotte, and we'll be bringing you up to date on this year's news and events. First of all, we have a catch up from Fiona Magari, Amy O'Donoghue, Dara O'Carver, and Lauren Watson. They'll be talking about the Uganda Project, MUN, NEP, Poetry Loud, and they will also introduce us to our new head boy and girl. The Uganda Project in St Andrews, now in its sixth year, is up and running again. And with over €150,000 raised so far, they're hoping for another successful year. Mr Hickmott tells us what's planned for the rest of the term. Um, so far this year, uh, uh, how have we been doing? This year is pretty good. Um, we're just on the eve of the big Christmas fair, which is our first big uh, fundraiser. And there's lots of buzz about it, lots of people involved. So I hope it will go as well as it has done in other years. Okay. Um, what are some of the other ways that we're raising money? Uh, this year, there's going to be a fun run shortly after Christmas. We're having a sort of a mini sports day with sumo suits and pretend wrestling and things on one of the last days of term. And just last night, we did some bag packing in Dunn stores. So all the money that's being raised is going to be put towards those three very worthwhile projects. Mm -hmm. MUN so far this year has been very successful, with many awards won by St Andrews delegates. We caught up with MUN director, Mr Allen, to find out exactly how we're doing. Well, we attended the Royal Russell um, Model United Nations in October in London in England. We had 39 delegates and we represented eight countries and two of those countries uh, were awarded awards. Um, one country, China, was awarded an Outstanding Delegation Award and the second delegation, the Lebanon, was awarded a Highly Distinguished Delegation Award. And We also had five committee chairs so we're very involved and very active and uh, at these conferences uh, we're very high profile because we've been doing it for about 25 years. St Andrews College delegates have recently left for an MEP conference in Bonn, Germany following their participation in the National MEP conference hosted here in St Andrews. We spoke to delegate Fionn Magori and how he's finding MEP and preparing for the conference. Yeah, so I'm really excited to go to Germany tomorrow for MEP. Um, about two months ago we had the National MEP of Ireland which is the Model European Parliament. Uh, we spent two days preparing resolutions and then on the third day we, we uh, voted on the resolutions in the General Assembly. This year's sixth year student officers were revealed in September. Stephen West and Mary Rimby assumed the position of head boy and girl. We caught up with Mary and her deputies, Faye Doherty and Georgie Murphy and deputy head boy, John Orr. What have we done so far? Really? Um, we've organised quite a bit this year. Yeah, we have. We got, um, we try, we've been like asking the year heads and stuff for proper seating in the 60th centre, so they've told us that they made a plan for that. Shells to be put into the lockers as well, because you know, the books already fit, so... And yeah, the study room, yeah, we've made it open too. later. We're going to be setting up um, student council soon enough now as well. Working towards getting like um, help with people like with stress and stuff to like alleviate that in 60. Yeah. Yes. Getting extra seating in 60. Yeah. yeah, we've done quite a bit. This term, the school is honoured with a visit from Zeldon Zinn Collins, a survivor of the Holocaust. His story was both shocking and inspiring. Here's Brian Morgan with the full story. Zeldon Collins, a Holocaust survivor, visited the school to give a lecture to fourth year students and history students about his experiences. The response was overwhelmingly positive. I liked it because he was really frank and he didn't like baby us. Like, he didn't kind of be like, this is, you know, you're not supposed to watch the video because it's too like horrifying for anybody, so it was good. I thought it was very good, very interesting. Uh, it was a bit disturbing when he showed the video, but he definitely got the point across about what it was like in there, in the cast. It was absolutely incredible. Like, I was so touched when he talked to me about it. I, I was so happy I got to meet him afterwards. I was really happy about that. And I was like, thank you so much for coming. It was an honour. And it's all about his book. And then when he showed us the video, I nearly cried. But it was an absolutely amazing, like, amazing lecture. It, it was the best experience ever. I thought it was very interesting. It was quite moving, though, because he was talking about his mother when his mother was in the concentration camps and what happened to her. And, and his sister. And sister, and they had showed videos, and everyone was quite disturbed. But um, otherwise, it was very interesting. Brianie Morgan, reporting for Great Vision. As we know, the school is undergoing a makeover, and soon we'll all benefit from the extra space and facilities on offer. Peter Collin and Jacob Martinson investigate. School building is due to be finished in early spring of 2010, when the white panels on the exterior of the building will be removed to unveil a mirror-like surface, which is designed to reflect college life below. There is much excitement surrounding the new art centre which will be situated on the top floor with new equipment and a modern design. We interviewed a cross-section of students to find out their thoughts on this. 
building is coming on. It's very big and they have lots more classrooms. So that's good. I'm looking forward to see the inside. There's a lot more facilities and there's more space for the classrooms and more change rooms and lockers will be there. I'm just really grateful that the first years get to have it because we have it for longer than all the other years and so like we all get some more space. This year it's got all the old modern new building stuff. So looks nice. This is Grace Doran and Peter Collin signing off for Great Vision School News. This term the science department was quite literally in its element as Science Week has been taking place. Let's hear the full story of the events we've been covering. Okay, so you're one of the winners of the Science Prize for Science Week. Um, can you tell us a bit about your picture? Well, my picture is about density. Um, and uh, it's a glass of water with a golf ball and a ping pong ball. And the ping pong ball is floating, so it was less density. Did you decide to do your poster on solar energy for any particular reason? Well, I just thought it would be more different than what the other people would be doing. They might be doing it about a computer and it was about what was in our everyday life. So I chose one of these because I have one on my roof. Um, so you're on the science team for the science final that you're in. Um, and how are you preparing for the science quiz? Oh, lots of study, of course, you know, hitting the books every day, just getting ready for it all. And who's, who else is on the team with you? Um, well, originally it was myself, Emma Sheeran and Ian Bruce Smith, but Ian won't be there, so we replaced him with Shane Hardy. Um, and are you going to win in the final? Of course, easily. Anyone who heads out to the pitches on a Wednesday or at the weekend know that Andrew students love their sports. Over the coming months, we'll be taking a look at all the various activities on offer. And although it's early in the season, we've already played a number of matches. Jack Heron has been investigating just why the sport is so loved by its players. The Junior A team began their league with a three-all draw and have worked hard to win later games and keep their place in the league. The minor B league has had a slow start. Their first match was a comfortable 6-0 win against Wesley College. Similarly, the under-13s are doing extremely well and hopefully will continue to do so. Andrews was greatly represented on the Leinster squads this season with Connor Stevens, Richard Sykes, Stephen Nolan and David Watkins making their under-18 squad. Ravan Nair, Ben Campbell, Lee Cole and David Cole made the under-16 squad, with David Cole being made captain. Following their success in the tournament, all of the players have received places in the Irish trials. Now comes my favourite part of the show, the 60 second interview. We ask the questions that we really want to know the answers to. Amy O'Donoghue is with Miss King. Miss King, hockey or basketball? Hockey. Without a doubt. If you could be any age, what age would you be? Younger than what I am now. Are you afraid of anything? And if so, what is it? I am terrified of heights. If you could be any animal, what animal would you be? Wow, an interesting one. Uh, animal, I'd probably like to be a cheetah. I'd like to be a bit faster on my feet. Okay. Uh, which would you rather talk to, children or adults? Most of the time, children, but on the odd occasion, adults. Physics or chemistry? Physics never work, probably chemistry. Bacon or ham? Mm, ham, probably. What's your favorite color? Blue. If you could have three wishes, what would they be? You've got to be careful what you wish for. Uh, I'd probably wish to get paid a fraction more, and I probably would wish to have um, a nicer car, and then I would just wish I could just sit quietly in my office and do some work. Well, that's all from us here in the studio. Till next time, stay tuned. Stay classy, St. Andrews. <laughs>